They're something I've been needing to do for a while now and I just can't avoid it anymore. Last summer I made a music Instagram account to keep separate from my personal account and as you can tell it's not looking so hot. I'm making it my mission for the next 30 days to get this account from basically zero followers all the way up to a thousand. <laughs> I'm gonna be documenting my process along the way, so hopefully you guys enjoy, or at the very least, get a pretty good laugh out of this whole video. Before starting this challenge, I did a bit of research, and here's the plan. So the main thing I'm gonna be focusing on is obviously reels. I just wrote a couple notes about like a few things, so 12 to 15 seconds for beat slash loop videos. Those are like whenever I showcase something that I made. Under 30 seconds for breakdowns, so like whenever I'm explaining like how I made a beat or just like a tutorial. Seven to eight seconds for trending sounds. I noticed that a lot of the reels that do really well are the people that are like read the caption or like here's how to do this like it's in the caption like whatever so providing a lot of value in the caption does well and then just create savable and shareable content i'm going to try to get two to three stories every single day i know that instagram loves when you post on their app one to two carousel posts a week that might be like something i do something i don't do i have networking on here because i think it's important to be active in the community you're trying to grow in especially on social media you've got to be be in the comments of like all the videos that are doing well in your niche or industry and I'm just gonna be trying to reach out to these people who are doing what I'm doing just kind of create a name for myself but that's the plan I've got a few reels stacked up here so far but nowhere close to 30 so let's get to filming thing that sucks about filming all these different things in one day is you have to change clothes every five minutes okay so that was reel number five done we're gonna start releasing these tomorrow so hopefully people watch them so i'm gonna use this last bit of sunlight i've got to film some reels outdoors those seem to do pretty well for some people i think it's because of the natural lighting outside so i'm gonna find a spot and set up there i found this spot with some trees by it that i thought would be cool to record so i started setting up all my stuff got out my tripod got the camera to put it on and i realized that i didn't have the clip so i went back into my bag looking for it and i left it at home i came all this way just to freaking not bring the clip from my tripod okay doing it for the real for the real so this look chill it's look cool there's just ducks going everywhere okay here we go all right, I got one down. I can't believe I freaking forgot my piece of my tripod. The part that like connects the camera to the tripod, I left it at home. But I got one down, so I'm gonna try to get one more with the last bit of sun. I gotta hurry. This shot is cool. This is gonna be a, a dope reel. Only thing is I am in the middle of a court, so just a bunch of people just staring at me like I'm an idiot. <laughs> All right, I got two reels done outdoors. It was a success. It took a lot. It was a little stressful and I got a little pissed off and I forgot my tripod clip, but it's all good. I got them done. It's time to go home now because it's cold and it's getting dark. Here's the tripod piece I was missing. All right, it's time to see whether I froze my ass off for nothing or not. Oh, it looks clean. I've never listened to people in the past when they tell me to batch my content, meaning like record a bunch of videos in a day before you have to release them. I'm already almost a third of the way done with this challenge and it hasn't even started yet. So batch your content. After a long day of filming, editing, and doing some productive scrolling, I've got 8 out of 30 reels done, and tomorrow is day 1 of what hopefully turns out to be a successful mission. At the very least, I'm hoping that these next 30 days teach me and you guys a lot about how to approach making content. It's a beast, but it's a part of the creative industry, and there's just no getting around it anymore. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Ugh. Good morning. It's day one, December 1st of this 30 day challenge. I am excited, I'm nervous. It'll go well, it'll go. At the very least, I'm gonna get some engagement on my Instagram. There's nothing to lose in this challenge, but it's time to post the first reel of the challenge. The good thing is I have eight to choose from. The hard part is which one do I post first? All right, I think I found the one. It's just one that I created the other day. It's a trendy audio, so kind of test the waters with that and see how it does. Number one, going out into the world, and it's done. There it is. 
Gotta go follow the IG. Hopefully you're a part of this journey. I'm fully expecting this to get like less than 30 views. <laughs> I had a super long day, but I am finally done. I can check the views now and see how we did for the first day. It hasn't been 24 hours yet, but it's the end of the day. Views are probably gonna slow down by now, so let's see what we're at. Okay, for real number one, first day of the challenge, we've got... That is not horrible. That's actually the best reel that I've posted on this account. It's got over 100 views, which is what I predicted wouldn't happen, but that's very promising. I hope that day two brings us even more success than that. It was a small win for me, but small steps to a big mountain or whatever they say. <laughs> All right, I just posted reel number two on my way to class, but you know I gotta upload the reel for the day. Day five, you know the vibes. Reel number six, just posted reel number seven, which means it's been a full week since I started this challenge. I'm not doing crazy numbers, but a couple hundred people a day is better than none. Day 11, day number 12 posted. I also did a carousel post for the first time this challenge. It's just a little photo dump of just pictures and beats from December. I added my main account as as a collaborator on this post just to kind of grow my music account a little more kind of give it that extra boost get anybody that was following my main for my music over to my music account so we'll see how that does today is actually the first day in like over a week that i've had any time to do anything but school finals was just super crazy for me but it's finally over and I am gonna take advantage of the sun outside. And yeah, I'm gonna get hopefully three reels done today. It's nice, it's nice enough, it's early enough. So I think going outside and just filming some, getting out of this little space is good for the, good for the feed and good for me too, I mean, it's fun. <laughs> Let's get it. First place I'm going to is my old neighborhood in Boston. It's super pretty, especially at this time. This is a spot. Spot number one out of three, I think. Here we go. We are at spot number two. This looks pretty cool. It's like just a bench indented into like this brown building. I think it's cool. You can get one here for sure. This next spot might be a little bit of a crazy play because it's pretty cold, but if I make it there on time, I know it'll be fire. It'll be worth it. This might be my favorite shot. Yeah, this is sick. It's a little bit of a crazy play because we're right by the water and it's freaking cold. <laughs> this looks exactly like I wanted it to. Let's get it. All right, so I got three reels done. That last one was so cool and it was freezing cold. It's still freezing cold, but I did it. Got all three done. We have officially made it to the halfway point. It is day 15 and I kind of figured I would just recap you guys on how we're doing so far. So obviously we've posted 15 reels and one carousel post as I mentioned before. In total we've gained about 20 new followers which is nowhere close to a thousand. My best performing reel so far has been this drum and bass tutorial. It's at 745 views and almost 50 likes. And for the worst reel we have this one right here which is very surprising to me because it's a motivational kind of thing and I used a trending audio so I don't know like maybe I posted at the wrong time of day or it just wasn't as engaging as my other pieces of content but that one's sitting at just over a hundred views with 10 likes. The second half of this challenge I will update you guys in Texas. I'm going home for the holidays so I will see y'all there. Here we are. It's a couple days after day 30 and I'm super excited to share with you guys the things that I've learned and also the results of this whole little experiment that I did. Before I jump into any of that, I just wanted to say thank you guys. It was such a fun experience and whether or not you left a like or a comment or you followed me, you're here from my Instagram. I just wanted to say thank you for being a part of the journey. It was a fun experience. But let's talk about some of the things that I've learned. So some of the things that I learned was you have to kind of listen to your audience and when you're first starting out there's not really much to go off of you're kind of just throwing stuff at the wall to see what sticks that's what I was doing for the first like 10 to 15 reels because things started to really pick up after that halfway point for me I went with the trendy audio route at the beginning like you guys saw and that helped kind of build like a foundation of the kind of people that I was trying to reach and then slowly I started incorporating my own work like my music my samples and that's actually what started doing numbers for me was my own work and 
and the thing that I was most scared to post, which was pretty surprising to me. But yeah, like I said, just listening to your audience, seeing what they like and what they're responding well to and just doing more of that. Another thing that I learned is that shares help a ton. Getting shares on your reels will help the algorithm understand that more people want to see this and it'll push it out to those people, especially the people that you want to see, not just random people. Get shares on your reels, tell people to share your reel, tell people to tag somebody in the comments. It just helps get more eyes on your videos and the more eyes, the better. Another thing that I will say is not to get discouraged. I mean, it goes without saying that you have to be consistent. You cannot just expect a thousand followers after 30 days. I definitely was a little disappointed seeing under 200 views on the reels that I put in so much work into, but I knew if I just kept uploading every single day and just not worrying about the numbers, eventually they would come, and they did. So I'm editing this right now, and I completely forgot to mention the fact that I had one reel do pretty well for me. It got like over 4,000 views, which is pretty well for my account. I'll pop it up on screen right here, but basically I just had people who make music network in my comment section, so it boosted the hell out of the engagement. The last thing I'll talk about is I think having a profile aesthetic really helps and I know everyone says that and it's so cliche but it definitely provides a returning viewer or a new viewer with some sort of like familiarity. It's just pleasing to the eye and it's very welcoming. A good example of this would be like Nico Baron. You just see him in his room playing all those synths that he has every time he's playing a new sample. It kind of helps identify his sound as well. Me as a listener, I know exactly what I'm about to hear when I see that and when I'm scrolling on Instagram. So yeah. Yeah, having a page aesthetic definitely helps. All right, so now I'm gonna get into the results of this whole like challenge experiment type of thing. But before I do that, I wanted to say that I dropped an R&B loop kit full of 10 high quality loops that you guys can get on my website now. So definitely check it out. Starting off with the amount of posts that I had, obviously it was a 30 day challenge. So I had 30 reels uploaded. I did one feed post and I did 40 different stories. Something that kind of blew my mind is I reached 7,223 new accounts, which is crazy. And finally, that big number that everyone cares about, 201 followers. I gained 130 followers over the span of 30 days, and I cannot thank you guys enough. I'm going to continue to post every single day on Instagram for as long as I can, so definitely go check me out over there. I appreciate you guys watching this whole video, and if you liked it, please leave a comment and subscribe for more. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.